This is News For You with Perry Peltz. For more than 20 years, airlines have been rewarding customers for their loyalty. However, frequent flyer programs can be so tricky to navigate. Joining us with advice on how to successfully make your way through that mile maze is editor-in-chief of Sherman's Travel Magazine, Norman Van Amy. Van Amy. Norman, hey, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I think there was an article, there was a quote in your article that said, there's nothing easier than accruing the miles and nothing harder than redeeming it's, them, which is so true. It's so true, particularly now. In the last few years, it's gotten easier and easier to get miles, but it's much harder. There's more blackout dates, there's more capacity trolls, control, so it's gotten really hard to use them. What is the what is the greatest challenge, Norman, to using miles right now from your perspective? I think navigating the, the blackout dates and the capacity control, I mean, there's just fewer seats available for, for flyers. Now, you say there are five tips that people, that passengers should use in order to be able to use their miles. And the first one you say is book your flight early. First of all, how early and then what are the other tips? Well, this is really important. Because there are few, fewer seats available, you should really do it as early as possible. Most airlines will let you do it around 11 months before a flight. So if you're planning a trip for your whole family and you want to do some sort of complicated itinerary, make sure to start like 11 months before so the flight. So you have to be really well Absolutely. organized. What yeah. are the other tips, Norman? I would say um, another thing is pick up the phone and, and call a, um, an agent. Like and see if somebody answers. <laughs> I know, that's a, it's a tough thing. But a lot of airlines use um, online booking now. But Sometimes, most times you can do better if you pick up a phone. You'll pay a small fee, but, but you can really do well that way. What other tips? Um, well, one of the things I always tell people is that if you have a lot of miles, consider using your miles to upgrade. That's a, that's a really wise way to use your miles. You get a lot for your money, so buy the ticket and then, then use, it, use it to upgrade to business class. The airlines have been encouraging us to use the internet, but you say think twice. You don't necessarily recommend using the internet first. I, I would I would go on and take a look, but if you have a complicated itinerary, pick up the phone. The, the, the danger is you're gonna you're gonna bring on a small fee, but but online uh, the phone bookers actually know the um, the routes better. They know like surrounding airports better, so a lot of times they can find you a, a, a great deal. Very quickly, tell us about achieving elite status. It sounds good, but what does it mean? This is something um, elite status is something that's given to to frequent flyers it's something really meant to um, reward people who fly all the time and it's great it it allows you to accrue more miles when you fly it allows you access to um, first cl class lounges so um, this is something that really pays to read your your uh, your program things, find out how many miles it takes to get up onto the tiers. Um, the conventional wisdom used to be that you would just do one, but now we say, like, um, you know, let's play the field and, and look at several and right. use them at the same time. Norman Van Amy, thanks so much for being here. Thanks it certainly a lot. is fun getting the miles, right?